Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's been a while, but I'm here today to show you how I shot this Porsche. So let me tell you what I used in terms of lighting to, um, you know, create this photo. I believe I spoke a lot about the Godox 8300 and this is like an absolute beauty for its size. You know, it, it's just amazing. I don't feel like I need to speak much about this because I spoke about it in my previous videos. But I've also used the ML30, which is light painting. Yes, this shot was a mixture of flash and light painting. I don't think much of a light painting, but I just wanted to give this one to it a try. And it's absolutely fascinating what this can do. This is one of the modifiers, and I believe I've used it during the shoot. And I was, well, it was why my mistake of using this modifier, because, you know, when you use something like this, you get, you get a lot of um, light spell all, all over the place. You get things like ghosting and stuff, stuff like that. But, um, it's it's on me. It's my mistake. I should have used The soft box that Godox have sent through by the way now you'll be able to download the raw file of this shots and many other shots including lots I'll be going uh, live only for Members of the channel. This is something that I'm actually setting up right now while we are speaking It's under you know under the review process of YouTube so yeah, exciting times. You'll be able to get many of the rows, including this, all of the LUTs that I've created previously and the upcoming LUTs. And I will only be going live to the members. Remember, don't forget to subscribe, yeah? All right, now with this, let's head to Photoshop and show you how it's done. All right, now that we are in Photoshop, let's show you the shots first before we explain what we've done to each. And this was progressively done. It's not like I've got it all in five minutes and kaboom. No, it actually took me three days to complete this shot. Yeah, well, part of it uh, because I didn't have time. Part of it, I just wanted to pay more attention. And you know me with attention. I'm not really good sometimes with it. Anyway, let me show you the shots. I'll right, turn. This is the first base shot that I used. So I had the flash over here, the 8300 shot right away. The main reason why I did this, there's a reason of course why I did this, is I wanted that long shadow over here because this is going to make the photo complete. Let's go to the next one. And you'll see how I progressively started adding these. And I'm, I'm just going to remove the mask for you to see how it looks. You'd think, hmm, yeah, okay, Mo. Not a big deal. Also, uh, look how uh, the, you know, the layer option or the blending option is set to lighten. We'll come to this later. And um, this is the light painting shot. And this is where I actually used it for the wheels. Now I've done two mistakes. I should have used the softbox modifiers to just control the, the spell off of the light. And I should have you know, worn maybe black shorts instead of pink. You can see a bit of ghosting over here. And that's not usually good with um, light painting. All right, moving forward. Um, this is the front shot. And yeah, again, you would think, okay, Mo, what are you doing here? But you'll see it once, you know, we actually let's remove these as we go. You'll see it once we actually enable the layers. This was again a front shot and uh, let's enable this. I've used the front and the front effects you can see it here in the layer. I know it doesn't make any sense right now but I just wanted you to see the photos. The same thing with this one. I think oh my god what you're doing. But yeah th this exposure was for the overall artwork on the wall but I'll also kind of taken some of it to uh, lighten the the car in the back, but I also use some of the other shots to blend these with, and I've fixed it. Um, I'm gonna show you that as well as we progress up. Now, okay, this one um, I used it just to fix part of the wall art, um, and it's not much. I just wanted to add a bit of more light because the original one wasn't lit enough. Let's remove this and obviously you would know what this is, right? 
yeah, these are the basically the headlamps um, exposure. And moving forward, this is a side fix. I've only used this part of the car just to add it. We'll see that how it works later. And um, this is just a slide face in the front. And like I said, this is very progressive. You know, it doesn't make sense when you see it um, individually, but once it's put together, you'll see, aha, you'll get this aha moment. Oh, you sneaky mo. And you can see just the, uh, you know, this little badge of the Porsche that has been lit as well. Moving forward, um, yeah, I've, I've used this for the side mirror. Now, as you can see in this shot, it has a lot of details of the carbon fiber, but when you go back to the other layers, which we will go and you'll see why I added that later on. Anyway, let's start, let's start doing this. So this is the base layer and that was great. I added the second shot and now you see how it's coming all together yeah and moving forward this is the rims i had a problem with the ghost thing so i used the color balance to fix this just to bring it back to kind of normal and the ghost thing is because of my short unfortunately moving forward you can see it right now you can start seeing the details you can see where i started lighting things up very slightly, very gradual. I was not in a hurry. I didn't want to finish that in the day. And front fix, this is what I showed you earlier. Let's just preview that. Oops, what did I hit? Yeah, that, there you go. That's it, but it makes a lot of differences here, right? Moving forward, this is a, now I started, you know, bringing in the the wall art, the the car in the back and the side slightly, and yeah, and yeah, that's that's basically it. And this is how I fixed the wall art. I just wanted a bit of more light coming in here, and I used that frame from light painting and the headlamps. Just like turn them on. This is the side fix. I saw this and I was like, hmm, I don't know. I didn't like it much. Let's fix this. This was the fix. I think this blended in better. And um, this is the front badge and slight shininess to the, I don't know, the splitter in front. <laughs> okay, look at the side mirror. Hey, you can't see all the details. The carbon fiber just, it looks so flat. And it's just because of the lighting and the angle of the light and that's why I decided to bring this in and fix it now I wanted to fix a few things like this reflection over here the you know the flash what do they call this particular um, the flash thingy over here the hot spots these are very hot spots and they look bad uh, the reflection from the mirror because the flash was shot from the back so first things first, if you look at the bottom for here, right? This was painted in with brushes just to fix it. That's great, it blended in I think perfectly, unless you guys think otherwise. I removed these as well because these are annoying. They're just visual distraction. Now you could remove more, less, it's up to you. I removed the ones over here as well in a different layer, the one at the bottom as well, and the reflection. I was just trying to remove whatever was bothering me. Anyway, I would, I would be changing the car reflection at the bottom as a whole, you know, I just didn't like it. And the same thing with the mirror. Um, reflection over here, I painted in with, uh, you know, brush. I've believe I've shown that a lot in my channel previously but let me know if you wanted to learn more about how I do this I might introduce it to you know the channel membership while I go live and actually show it to you by the way if you want to know more about that membership just have a you know I'll leave a link in the description below have a look and if you're interested please go ahead and subscribe of course all right moving forward now you can see a bit of imperfection over here and I just 
painted that out. I know it's, it's not a big deal, but I just, you know, thought why not? Since I'm already doing it, might as well just fix that. Now, I think I had a great shot, but I just didn't like how this looks here. So I painted that as well. <laughs> Moving forward. Um, um, I desaturated the surrounding of the car just slightly just to give more emphasis on the car itself and I didn't like how this looked like so I introduced a new layer to fix it from some previous shots other shots so if you look here this is this was shot with the light painting in mind of course and I like this reflection better so I just added that now, if you're familiar with my workflow, uh, you know that I use camera just to add the last fix, you know, adding a bit of contrast, uh, increasing or fixing the brightness, sharpness and things like that. And kaboom, you got this. You can see all the details that were hidden in the front here. I just brought it back a bit. Now, if you go close on, you can see there are these artifacts in the window and I don't like how it looks. So I did a bit of dodging and burning and um, started clean up with other methods like this stamp. What is it called? This this dude over here, a uh, clone stamp tool. Damn, I forgot. I'm becoming so rusty. <laughs> forgot the tool's name. All right. So um, I just didn't like how it looked and I started like I said, dodging and burning and use that clone stamp tool. Um, we're gonna figure, I'm going to revisit this because I wasn't happy with it at all. With this layer, just uh, amplified the, the guys on top, the lights on top, just added a bit of kind of hazy look to it. Now for the next one, and, and I just didn't like how the lights are imperfect here. So I just fixed it in Photoshop. Um, can't remember how I did this. Maybe I just painted it. You know, when you look at it from distance, it looks fine. But when you zoom in, you can still see a bit of artifacts over there. Okay, so moving forward, uh, this was a bit over highlighted and I darkened it. And for this, I just added a bit of channel mixer um just to again bring down the saturation and i added a bit of a lot well it is a lot not a little i can't remember even which lot i used uh teal orange just the default one um just to give that slight look not much you can see it's it went a bit dim and that's it just slight shift in colors that's it. Now I felt that I wanted to bring more out of the car, so I increased its brightness, but in turn it changed its color. So I went to selective color and added a bit back of the yellows. Maybe I should have just dropped on the brightness or, you know, I pulled up the mid-tone maybe a bit more or less. Again, it's very subjective. I'll leave that to you guys. And this is where I went back to the window you see it's very progressive i say okay i still don't like the windows what do i do i just added a bit of haze light to the window and i did the same thing at the back and that's pretty much it this is the final product or final work or the final photo let me know what you think and yeah that's pretty much it now if you have any questions about the membership or about this shot or about anything else please leave me a comment in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe and share this with your friends and i'll see you in the next video